Hello Amazon sellers. Welcome back to another brand new video from Ecom Clips. My name is Hassan and I am the senior advertising manager at Ecom Clips. In today's video, I will discuss Amazon top 3 PPC strategies that you should follow in 2024. So without any delay, let's start today's topic. So my first strategy is reduce advertising spend using Amazon search term report. In my last video, I have showed you Amazon provides us several reports for Amazon sponsored product campaigns. Among them, the most downloaded report is Amazon search term report. So let me show you today how you can analyze this report and reduce your advertising spend. So you can download any advertising reports in two different ways. Number one, from the Amazon Seller Central, from the menu bar, you can go to the reports and then here you can go to advertising reports. This is one way and another way is you can go to the campaign manager and here you will see that measurement and reporting. And then you need to click on sponsored ads report. So after clicking on it, you will see that here are the reports that I have downloaded before. And to download the new report, you need to click on create report. And then you will see that the new report format report category here you can select sponsored products and the report type is automatically selected search term here are also some other report type that i have showed you how you can download this and also how you can analyze this report for your advertising optimization for the reporting period let's select last 30 days and now let's download this report so this is how you can download amazon sponsored products search term reports from this report, you will get every search terms for those you got at least one click. So after reviewing these search terms, you can find out the irrelevant search terms and add negative for your advertising campaigns. Also, you can find out the search terms that got highest results for your advertising campaigns and you can create a brand new campaign with those search terms. Even from this report, you can mark the highest echo search terms and also the search terms that got a good number of sales for your advertising campaigns. All these things you can do from this single report. In my last video, I have showed you how you can download this report and analyze these things. So I am not repeating this again. So my next strategy is extracting new keywords from the existing campaigns and then create a brand new campaign. Let me show you how you can do this. Let's open an automatic campaign. Let's open this one. After going to the ad group, let me check the search terms. And let's select the last 65 days. Oh, it's automatically selected. And let's sort it by the orders. So here you can see the search terms for those we got a good number of sales with decent echoes. So what I can do, I can pick these keywords and create a brand new campaign. But before that, remember one thing, do not turn off these keywords here. Before, they have data already and they are doing well for our campaigns. Even you do not know if you create a brand new campaign with the same keywords, they will do better or not. So the right thing is that you can keep this as it is now and you can create a brand new campaign. Later on, if they work well, then maybe you can turn off them or you can keep them as well. Now, my third strategy is organize campaigns and budget. Normally, many sellers create a new campaign and then create so many ad groups under one campaign. Even they put over 100 keywords on every ad groups. Please never do that because if you create so many ad groups under one campaign and then again put so many keywords on every ad groups, your all keywords and all ad groups will not get enough budget. As a result, maximum time what we see that only one ad group and some maybe 5 to 10 keywords spend the full budget and rest of the keywords and ad group don't get enough budget for spending. As a result, there are so many keywords remain without spending and you can't examine these keywords because they don't have any data. For this reason, I have a solution for you. What I prefer, you can create a new campaign and then you can create one campaign under that ad group. And then you can put max 15 to 20 keywords for that ad group. If you have more keywords for the same item, 
you should create a new campaign and put again 15 to 20 keywords for that campaign. This way you can organize your campaign and this way the every keywords and campaign will get enough budget for spending. So these are the three strategies that you should follow for your advertising campaigns in 2024. Before ending the video, I have two tips for you. Number one, use all text at your brand story and A plus content. Let me show you. Here for this listing, you can see that this listing has a good brand story and also have premium A plus content. So if I check the all text for this brand story and A plus content, here at the brand story, you can see that they have used all text for every single images. Please note that you can use 100 characters for every single images as all text. So now imagine that if you put at least 10 products at your brand story, there will be 1000 characters as all text. So imagine how it can helps you for indexing more and more keywords for your listing. Even if you see the A plus content, you can use all text for every single images even for the video as well. So this is a great thing that you can use more and more keywords for your listing that can help you index easily. Another tip I want to tell you that you can increase your CTR by at least 20 to 30 percent simply bringing some changing on the main image. Let me show you how you can do this. Here from my screen you can see that this is the image that I have prepared for one of my product. This is a turmeric and ginger item and it has 120 capsule. This is the main image that I have created first time and then I created another image for the same item. So when you see the both images together, you can see the comparison. Like for the old image, I just put the bottle. For the new image, I have showed the same product but in a different way. Like I have added some ingredients images along with the main product and also showed the capsule image. So this is like uh, something attractive. Even I am thinking that if I can put a tag here and mention that 120 capsule so that will be easier to understand for the customers. Now you can see the difference that for the main image it looks attractive and appealing to the new customers. Even when anyone see the new image rather than the previous image they will definitely click on the product. So this is what I want to say you that you can bring some changes on your main image and later on you can see that how the CTR has improved for your listing. So there's you have it. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel Ecom Clips. We'll come back to you soon with our next video. Till then stay safe and happy new year.